Graydon Carter accuses President Trump of making some inappropriate comments about a young woman who did some work translating for a prominent world leader last month. Carter writes in his editor's letter that during a visit by the Japanese Prime Minister Shinzeeb, the president told an acquaintance that he was obsessed with the translator's breasts, although he expressed this in his own fragrant fashion. An examination of those assembled at Mar-a-Lago on the weekend of Prime Minister Rabe's visit seems to suggest that there was just one young woman working with President Trump and the Japanese delegation who could be seen in a flowered dress in photos with the President and Prime Minister. She was the only woman present that weekend who could be seen working with the two men and was also seen huddled over the table at the moment it was revealed that North Korea had launched a missile test on Saturday night. That same woman was also later seen standing off to the side of the room when President Trump and Prime Minister Rabe delivered, gave a brief press conference about the North Korean incident later that evening. And the woman was also seen closely working with the translator who had been seen with President Trump all day on Friday, first at the White House during Prime Minister Rabe's official visit, and then later that evening in Mar-a-Lago when the two men joined their wives and New England Patriots owner Robert Kraft for dinner. The same woman who allegedly caught President Trump's eye was also the individual who could be seen flashing a light on the documents, being read by the Japanese delegation and Prime Minister Abe at the table that night. This caused an uproar among many who questioned the security of Mar-a-Lago and the access available to guests who were able to photograph the events of the evening. The woman does look similar however to White House Deputy Chief of Staff Katie Walsh, in which case it is unclear what woman President Trump could have been commenting on that weekend. Carter goes on to write in the magazine, Trump may be a joke, but the chaos and destructive forces around him are not. If he can cause this much havoc during his first few months in office, imagine what the country and the world will look like at the end of four years.